just um, as I got down here before I walked before I walked down here. I got out the out the vehicle and as I was trekking that just literally as I got out there was two cockbirds pheasants jumped straight out on, on me. I didn't expect that. So they lived to fight another day. Uh, they startled me a bit so I'd literally just shut the door of the of the, of the van. Um, but we've got to a nice little spot here now. Um, I'll show you some of the equipment that I fetch with me. So first they've got my GoPro with a wrist strap. So if I do happen to see anything or I can just click it, try and get a shot in so I can film it for the for the video. Um, I've got this new leg pouch I bought. Um, got some ammo in here. Catapult I'm using. This is a trusty PPMG. I got some of this pink Sanuki, I think it's called. Um, what Asia Wilson sent me. So I want to give that a whirl, I'm not really give it a fair crack and I'm using 8mm steels today, so normally I'm a 9.5 um, but I want to try a few 8mm steels with a light setup to see how we get on um, Just in my bag I've got a uh, hobo reel, so a little fishing line just in case I fancy a little dabble um, Some cooking stuff, a bit of food, stuff to make some tea with and knife stuff like that so and some spare bands so um we'll going have a little look around see if we can find anything back here again that's where we started I think I've done about four miles so a nice little trek we had a nice walk up through the woods um, come across quite a lot of birds pigeons were staying nowhere near they were just gone uh, but I did manage to get ourselves a bird as you saw in the, in the footage earlier some nice little cock bird and the ball penetrated just here eight mil steel right in the side of the head um, so he was dead straight away um, So it was a nice little shot. I did hit another one which got away. Unfortunately, he gathered himself back round um, So I might go a little bit more stronger with the bands. Because the bands I'm using are very very light bands um, So we're gonna take this home uh, Prepare it and this will go in the pot ready for tea tomorrow or the next day um, A lot of people comment on my video saying why do you kill? Why don't you shoot a bottle? Well, I can't eat a bottle. I can eat this and I enjoy living off the land, so I want to continue to do so. None of the meat gets wasted. I don't kill for fun. Some of the videos when I'm smiling and laughing is because of the shot that I've done, not because of the bird that's dying. I dispatch them quickly and humanely. Um, so yeah, so this is going to go in the pot and it's going to get wasted. 
Um, another thing, like I said earlier, people say, oh, you shoot out a van window, it's easy. They don't know you're there. Well, I shoot birds at long distances anyway, so they definitely don't know I'm there if I was on foot or in a vehicle. This was on foot. I do a lot of hunting on foot, but it's hard to get the footage. That's why I don't put any on YouTube, because you can't get the footage of it. Um, but we managed to get a little bit there, I'm hoping. I haven't checked the GoPro yet, but I'm hoping uh, we've got the footage of, of the kill. So I want to get this back now, make my way back to the vehicle, get this home, prepare it, and it'll be ready for a stew or something like that in the next couple of days.